Hi, good afternoon everybody. Welcome to another episode of A Franchise Reborn. We got some news, so let's dab right into that. As we also have some sad news we're going to discuss first. Okay, first clip here folks. And there, sad news today, Sabres Hall of Famer Joe Crozier passes away at 93. Former head coach, put French Connection together, led team to first playoff berth. And a clip. Buffalo Sabres mourn the passing of former head coach and Sabres Hall of Famer Joe Crozier, who died Tuesday at the age of 93. Crozier took over behind the Sabres bench after Punch Imlac had to step down due to health concerns in January 1972. Crozier made an immediate impact, putting Gilbert Perrault, Rick Martin, Rennie Robert together to form the French Connection, the greatest line in Sabres history. He guided the Sabres to the franchise's first playoff appearance in 1972-73. In three seasons, he compiled a record of 77 wins, 80 losses, and 35 ties. Crozier also served as an assistant coach during the 1984-85 season, and worked as a team ambassador for many years after his coaching career ended. So I want to make sure we mention that before we get into the news, guys. I mean, uh, condolences to the family. And it just, once again, how, how quick the years pass in this life, you know, how quick they pass. So condolences to the family. And thank you, Joe, for putting together the greatest line this franchise has ever seen. Okay, now to the news some of the news of the day, I got more later. Okay, here we go. Sabre signed Granado to multi-year extension. Coach enters second full season behind Buffalo Bench. And I will show you a clip. The Buffalo Sabres have signed Coach Don Granado to a multi-year contract extension. The team announced Wednesday. Don's passion for the game and leadership skills have been on display since the moment we met. Sabres GM Kevin Adams said he is someone who the players have a tremendous amount of respect for and he dedicates himself to bettering each individual on the team. Don's mentality of earning it resonates through the team. It is more than just a mindset. It is a driving force for our players and staff. I appreciate his thoughtfulness when it comes to developing our players and open communication we are able to have about the team. I'm happy to extend Don's contract, keeping him in Western New York for many years to come. And I got one more clip I want to show you because we haven't got a straight answer in this, but here it is. The Buffalo Sabres signed coach Don Granado to a two-year contract extension on Wednesday, rewarding him for the team's improvement in his first full season. Granado had two years left on his existing contract and is now locked up through the 2025-26 season. He will make just under $2 million in each of the season of the extension, not including bonuses. A person with knowledge of the deal told the Associated Press, the person spoke on the condition of anonymity because the Sabres did not reveal the terms of the contract. So there are the terms of the contract, folks. It's two years, and it's about $2 million bucks a year. Very reasonable for a guy this good. I mean, we are just... Folks entering such a healthy phase when it comes to how we spend on this team. I'm very excited about Don Granato staying. I know some of you had doubts last year, so did I at one point, but I do believe he is getting better as a coach too. It's not just he's just this way and that's it. He's also getting better as a coach, and he's, uh, but he's brought a, a whole fresh atmosphere since uh, Kruger's gone. I mean, it's, it's night and day, guys. It's, it is. It's night and day. It, I feel bad this guy had to be the coach under Kruger at one time, you know? And that's just uh, funny how things work out, eh? There we, we had our coach the whole time and we just didn't even, uh, didn't even know ourselves at the time. So Don Granato, guys, well-deserving, absolutely. It's, it's another stable move by the Sabres. We just continue to be more and more stable now. We've locked in our coach. We've locked in our general manager. This is our duo. That's set in stone right now as we move forward towards winning our first Stanley Cup eventually. And these are the guys I believe that can get it done. We'll have to have some trial and error, of course, to get, for them to get better as well. I mean, everybody has to get better. It's not just the players, you know, the GM has to get better. 
the coach has to get better. I mean, this is all part of the deal uh, of what's going on. And of course, though, touching on uh, Crozier, you know, it's it, it's funny, guys, that we would extend Granado on the day we kind of, you know, right around the time we get this news, he gets extended too. It's almost like it's, you know, it's a, like a parallel thing going on with when it comes to the team. It's, uh, you know, a promising future now with the guy that kind of really played a big role in our promising future back then passing. It's, it's just weird how things sometimes work out in this life. But uh, I'm really happy with this signing. I think um, without a doubt, I, I, like when I heard it, I was happy. You know, I was like, good, good. This is what we need. We need to just lock these guys in and including the coach and GM, which are now locked in. And Adams made it clear that when before he took the extension, he talked to uh, Pagula and uh, wanted to make clear that they intended to extend Granado as well. So these guys not only are looking out for each other, they're also, they believe in each other. You know, they, the, the team believes in, in, uh, in the blueprint that they have set out and it seems like everybody's in sync now, guys. It seems like the, 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 uh, the, the staff, the, the, the marketing staff even. I mean, it just seems like everybody's in sync now. You know, our, uh, our development staff, our, uh, our scouts. It just, it, it just seems like everybody's on page with this franchise and everybody knows their role. And it, it really seems organized since Granados. Um, not only taken over as coach, but also since Adams became general manager, it just seems like things changed. You know, once we uh, let go of Kruger, it was a fresh start, obviously, because look now. Look how things are now. Things are looking up. Things are looking better. I'm sure you guys are, most of you must be pretty good with this signing. I, I am. So, Donnie Meatballs stays, guys. He stays. All right. That's it. I got one more coming your way. We got another signing to talk about in that one. See you there.